Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 44. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to use the Find and Replace feature. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in the XR Web Designer 7 Premium software. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and go to the toolbar and select the text tool. So go ahead and left click on that and then left click and drag and draw a text area. And within this text area, we're going to write up some text. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to write XR Tutorials for XR Web Designer. Then I'll write Fix This. And I'm, sp I'm intentionally spelling this wrong. So I wrote the word Fix without the X and This without the S. Fix This Text without the T please without the E and then dot so that should say fix this text please that's what it should say so let's go ahead and go to our edit menu in the upper left hand corner of our workspace and you'll see that up here if you click on edit and then the drop down menu comes down and we'll select the find and replace option so left click on that and it brings up a dialog box for the find and replace feature now let's, look, let's go ahead and explain uh, what these options are in the find and replace dialog. The first box that says search for is to search for text. That's simple. Uh, the replace with box is for replacing text that already exists in your workspace with a different uh, word or key phrase. And by the way, you can also search for a keyword or key phrases. And what I mean by key phrases is it's made up of multiple words that may make a sentence so that's what I mean by that the next option you have is scope and what scope allows you to do is set some parameters or attributes for how you search for and replace with um, information in your document so for current text flow that means that it's only going to deal with the current text that we have selected in this case uh, the text that we have in this this text area the XR tutorials for XR web designer and then fix this text please which is all spelled incorrectly and then the next option you have is current page and that means that it will only search for and replace information on the current page that you have uh, open in XR and all pages means that it will look at every page that you have within the open document uh, that you have opened up and it will search for or replace information de depending on what you set these parameters to for the search for and replace with and then the last options we have is the case sensitive and the whole word case sensitive means that your casing meaning like if you have uppercase or lowercase that will matter and if you search for something that has a lowercase letter but use an uppercase letter it will not find that particular text because you have to match the casing and then whole word is for matching the whole word if you spell a partial word like if you spell x a R in here in the search for box it would not find XR because you would have if you had the whole word option check you would have to spell the whole word out for it to find it so let's go ahead and demonstrate how this feature works within this program if you search for XR and I'm gonna put it to current page in this case for the scope and if you type in XR X A R A you'll see that in our workspace it finds the word XR and let's say that we didn't match the casing we wrote X A R A all lowercase you see that it finds XR but if we turn on the case sensitive option left click on that you'll see that we get an exclamation mark even though the word XR exists in our workspace because the casing doesn't match we have a lowercase X and there's an uppercase X in the work in the workspace so therefore to the program in the find and replace dialog it does not exist but well, if we turn off the case sensitive option you see again that it finds that text now let's say we do whole word so let's left click on the whole word checkbox and let's say we only spell x a r we get an exclamation mark because even though the letters x a r exist in that order in the, in the workspace it won't find it it won't find xr because we're trying to get the whole word not a partial word but if we uncheck that box you'll see that it finds the letters X A R all grouped together and therefore it finds the word XR 
So let's let's go ahead and type Xar the full word in the search for box again. And then let's hit find next. And if you hit find next, you see that it finds the next instance of the word Xar. So that's how you find text within a document. And if you wanted to find the word phi or fix, which it should say fix, but we left the X out of it. If we type fi and we find that in our workspace, we can go to the replace with option and type the letters fix. So replace with and then hit the replace key and you'll see that in our workspace it replaced the word fi and made it the word fix so let's say you want to replace the word this I mean thi and make it say the word this we would type in search for thi and we'll type in the word this and you'll notice that I don't have the whole word option check because we're looking for a partial word here and because of that to eliminate you know the possibility of not finding the word I like to keep these things unchecked because I want to find the specific word no matter what the casing is you know no matter if it's a whole word but that's that's personal preference so that really doesn't matter but make sure you have THI typed in for search for and then replace with have the word this and hit replace and you see that it replaces the word this I mean THI with the word this and if we do the same thing for TEX and type in text and hit replace it'll replace the word text and then if we type in the word please without the E and then type in the full word please and hit replace you'll see that it replaces all of that information now the last option here all pages I'm not going to cover that in this particular tutorial I'm just going to make this one uh, the first part series of find and replace and then I'll make another video uh, to show you how to replace it on all pages and I might show you a few other things as well so don't worry if I if you feel not confident in how the find and replace works yet because I'm going to make a second tutorial over some more features in the find and replace and that should help you better understand uh, as you get more practice so I hope this tutorial has helped you to learn how to uh, search for text and replace text after you search for certain text and how to do that on the current page and in the current text flow uh, so if you have any questions please send us a message on YouTube and I hope that this video was helpful in helping you learn the find and replace feature in XR and also don't forget to subscribe or share our video and give us thumbs up if we did a great job have a great day yeah.